Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Don't sabotage yourself. Don't sabotage yourself, because let's be real. Let's be real out here. Because, uh, yeah, people know me for talking about relationships, but if they look at what I do overall, it's about success. Succeeding in life, period. Yes, I'm most known for relationships, but if you really look at what I talk about, it's about the overall thing. And I really pay attention to that. And I re- I've really paid attention to why people succeed and then why some don't. A big reason why many people do not succeed in life is they sabotage themselves. It's not the they's or the outside world who do it. People self-sabotage constantly. Okay, like one instance, since you know, I'm known for relationships, I'll talk about relationships. There are a significant amount of people who have Mr. Right or Miss Right. They have that mate that really feels good about them, who has good intentions for them. But they themselves will do something to sabotage the relationship. And there's myriad reasons why they might do so, but the, it still comes down to the same thing. they sabotaging themselves. They got a good person right there. They'll do something to mess it up. You know, might blatantly cheat or jump on the person, ignore the person, something. They did that. The other person didn't do anything. They did that. Now, that's relationships. What about when you're talking about your career? Your career. Like you're working for someone, you're working in some company, you could really advance. But then you keep doing stuff on the job that hurts you. Maybe you keep coming late. Maybe you insubordinate at uh, inopportune times. What it could be a thousand things. I've I've been on plenty of jobs and you could see where someone has some talent, but then they don't come to work on time. Or they don't do anything, or they do something crazy on the job that really hurts them, they get fired. Yet they had talent. Or it could be in business. You're not doing what it takes. You and it's perfectly within your ability, within your power to do what it takes for you to succeed in that particular business, but you're not doing the work. You have a chance to get a great big contract or to uh, make money from a lot of customers. You do some stuff. You know, it could be small. If it could be small, you want a job. You could be a server at a restaurant. All you would need to do to make a lot of money is just be friendly. But you just you just give them just the bare basics. Don't check on them. Don't smile anything. That's not the other people. That's you. That is you. And I've seen so many people, they will do something to sabotage themselves. Now, of course, the problem with that is they'll sabotage themselves, but they'll blame everybody else. Oh, they made me do it. Oh, yeah. They they made you not smile on your job when that would have helped you out. You know, they they made you late for work when it's your alarm clock, it's your car, all you have to do is get up. Or you were acting a certain way towards all... All the other people. Like, I remember I was on one job, and it was a woman, kind of an annoying woman. She would just purposely do stuff that you you just looked at her like, are you crazy? Seriously. To really hurt her on the job. To really hurt herself on the job. Nobody was doing it to her. She was doing it to herself. And I'm just like, wait a minute. Come on. And a lot of people do that. You know, that's why, uh, you know, I always tell people, especially on my men's channel, you know, about self-improvement and everything. Don't don't be saying, well, these other people or other women got to do this. Improve yourself. You got control. The one thing people have 100 percent control over in life is themselves. They got you got 100 percent control over yourselves. Now, others can try to try to convince you or even try to force you to do stuff, but it's still your choice. You have to take responsibility for that choice. So if you succeed or fail in life, you got to take some responsibility. Yes, there's a lot of outside forces that's putting up roadblocks, but then it's up to you how you want to get around that roadblock. It's up to you to do the work to get past it. And whatever you do, think about something, think about it another way. Okay, you got all these things that's erected by outside forces to fences to stop you. Okay. At least work for yourself to get to the fence and try to climb over it. 
If they're going to stop, if they if they going to stop you, let them do it. You don't stop yourself. You don't get to that fence and say, oh, I'm not going to climb it, even though it's a low fence, or I'm not going to dig around. You know, you need more money on a job. Don't say, oh, they won't give it to me and everything. Do what you can or get another job or do what you can in your business. If you're in relationships, don't say, well, they made me behave this way. No, they didn't. They make you do anything because you're a part of that relationship. And your reaction to it, you control your reaction. There's no excuses. But see, some people just do that. And part, you know, I can get a little deep. I'll say this. I'll just say this. Some people want to embrace that victimhood. Don't do that. I'll talk about that in another uh, in another Sunday podcast. Don't embrace that victimhood. But whatever you do, don't stop yourself. Do everything possible. Work as hard as possible. To, to go to that next level, to succeed. And if there's anything about you that's slowing you down, stopping, okay, stop. Stop right then. Step back and take an honest look at yourself. Take an honest look at yourself. Get in that mirror and look at yourself. Look at yourself and say, okay, wait a minute, what am I doing? No matter what, I don't care what it is, if it's relationships, if it's business, not making money, ask yourself, what I, say to yourself, what am I doing? Okay, then deal with it. Once you figure it out, deal with it. Indeed, if you have to ask other people, because it's still tough to really know ourselves for many people, ask them, what do they see? Ask someone whose words you trust, okay, what do you see? What do you see me doing? Do whatever you can. So, hey, and you know, get whatever help, address the issue. If necessary, get therapy, whatever it is. If it's a fear, learn to face that fear, whatever. But don't sabotage yourself. Like I said, even though the day I say you can get past the days, don't let them stop you. The days are definitely putting up roadblocks and everything. That's people's nature. That's just people's nature. There ain't no esoteric uh, conspiracy or anything. It's just people's natures to do stuff in their own best interest. And if their best interest says stop you from doing something and they have the ability to do so, they will. But then you have the ability to get past it. You still have a choice on how you want to deal with that situation. All right? So don't sabotage yourself. This is very key. You want to win. If you, at the very least, you want to say, you know what? I did what I had to do. And I'm going to make it. But I'm not going to stop myself. I'm not going to sabotage myself. All right? Really think on what I'm saying. I want everyone to keep rising. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and blessings.